Yeah, so hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about this camera here, the Konica FS1, where hopefully it's received a stay of execution for the time being. It's been a bit kind of temperamental. If you've watched my channel for um, a while now, I did this video back last year now, down in Stern Abbas. That's really when problems with this camera really started to kind of impact my photography in that when it's loaded with batteries and I loaded it with film, it tended to get to about exposure five, exposure six, and then it just didn't go any further until I kind of um, left it for a little bit or wiggled the batteries in its kind of case, put it back in, turn it on, and sometimes that did the trick. What happened was because it kind of stopped at a particular point on the film, and didn't wind on, I was ending up um, with lots of kind of double exposures in a roll of film. So what we kind of did is we kind of took it as part as much as we could, um, which is not a lot because this camera, I think was introduced back in 1979 and has got some kind of electronics of its time inside it to obviously wind the film on and because of that, they're a little bit kind of unreliable um, now because the electronics are so old. We're talking over 40 years old. When we started it up again, it kind of had another problem. This time, it wouldn't kind of auto load the film, which is what it's supposed to do. So there was no way really that we could kind of use it. So at that point, I decided that I'd probably try and sell it for repairs. Um, but nobody seemed to want it. So as a kind of a last ditch attempt before consigning it to the recycling bin, I thought I'd use the fine tool of adjustment, AKA the hammer, and just see whether I could knock some sense into it. Of course, I didn't think this would do any, uh, anything really other than damage it further. And as I didn't really have a hammer to hand, I decided just to drop it onto the floor. And I did this a couple times, obviously, again, not really thinking that it was gonna do much. And on the last kind of drop, I kind of almost heard a kind of mechanical click. And ever since then, it seems to have worked kind of correctly. And I'm just gonna try and demonstrate this now. And then I was gonna load in my test roll and literally go right through it and see if that works as advertised and then if that works then I might be tempted to put a roll of film in so anyway before it starts kind of drizzling heavier here I'll um, put the batteries in and put the test roll in and uh, we'll go from there so let's just balance that there that then clips onto the front like so put the film over here Make sure it clicks onto the, the clogs and it should, when you put the door down, it should kind of auto load. So let's give it a whirl. So that seems to have done something. It's actually flashing that it's on manual mode actually. So I'm not sure. Let me just see whether, ah, here we go. That was what I did wrong. I forgot that this camera is not an aperture priority. It's actually a shutter priority camera. So I had it in kind of manual mode because I had the aperture on an actual value rather than on EE, which means it's kind of automatic for the camera. If I then select a shutter speed, now that's working now, it's showing that for a shutter speed of 1 60th of a second, I'm actually seeing now it flashing up that that will provide me with an aperture of f4 for the scene i'll fire some shots off see if it and see if it winds on as it should after each exposure no nope, same thing's happened i'm pressing the button and it's not winding on this is what happened before in that i got it working again but because it didn't wind on it kind of created that kind of multiple exposure so that's a real kind of um, disappointment. Yeah, and the lights are completely gone from the viewfinder. So if I um, try and take the battery off. Uh, 
and then right so the lights are back but like i said it's a a multiple exposure already happened if this was real film and uh, no it stopped again but like i said fresh batteries and at the moment it's worse than before i can only get kind of one image done and then it doesn't wind on so let's just try loading it again Oh, two in a row, three in a row, oh, no, yeah, I just don't feel confident on the reliability of this camera, and I think I'm going to have to just chuck this out, unfortunately, because, as I said before, I tried to give it away almost, you can't shoot it without any batteries, it needs that electrical kind of connection to get its kind of old electric circuits to work, so there's no way around that unless you can kind of repair the electronics in the camera and there just doesn't seem to be a way to be able to do that oh it's a real shame so yeah unfortunately um it's the end of the road for this camera so what i'll do is i'll just put up some images that i have taken with this camera as a bit of a kind of a swan song for it So thanks for watching, bye for now.